Hello, I'm Margaret and welcome to Garden School. Well, it is certainly fall and we like to uh, decorate our front porches with squash and uh, pumpkins and things that are from the harvest. You know, helps us get into a nice harvest fall feeling as well as bring some things in to cook um, in the fall season. But sometimes something happens in the garden that is unexpected when it comes to squash and pumpkins, and it involves cross-pollination. Well, I wanna show you something here. This right here, uh, it, it is not a good thing to eat. It's a clever decoration, I suppose, but this is probably a cross between a pumpkin and a zucchini. That's my guess. How does this kind of thing happen? Well, let's think about this. In the garden, we've got, let's say, our field pumpkin that we've planted. And on that plant, there are male flowers and female flowers. And if the male pumpkin flower pollen gets to a female pumpkin flower, then you get poll a pollination that will develop into a beautiful pumpkin, but it'll also develop seeds that have pumpkin DNA. It doesn't have another squash kind of DNA. Now, this is interesting because pumpkins and zucchinis and uh, acorn squash and there's some other winter squashes and summer squashes that are all the same species. Cucurbitae pepo. Now, just an interesting side note. You've heard of pepitas, pumpkin seeds? It's probably where they got the name. <laughs> Anyway, cucurbitae pepo, pumpkin and a zucchini are, in, are the same species. So when you get a flower that produces pollen on the zucchini plant and a bee, which is the pollinating instrument, uh, takes that pollen to a pumpkin flower, you're going to get a pumpkin on that pumpkin plant for sure, but the seeds in that pumpkin will have the DNA from a zucchini and a pumpkin. So. If you save those seeds and plant them the next year, you'll see some dominant traits that are from the other variety in the same species. So this thing right here, which we're not sure exactly what it is, this came from seeds that had been cross-pollinated. Um, and it's certainly not gonna be a good one to eat, but we can use it for a decoration. So if you wanna think about um, saving seeds in your garden for the next year, there are a couple things you can do. You can protect your pumpkin plants or your zucchini plants, the one you wanna save the seed from. You can protect it in a little uh, house and then do, you know, like a cloche with a ream cloth or something like that, and then hand pollinate it. Then you'll get a true seed for the next year. Another thing you can do is plant your pumpkins and your zucchinis a quarter mile apart because that's about the distance it's going to take for the pollen to travel on a bee. It could even travel further. But uh, anyway, so that's something if you want to think about regarding saving seeds from pumpkins, zucchinis, acorn squash, some things like that because they will cross pollinate in the garden and then you'll see some interesting things the next year. So if you want to just do the experiment and say, hey, I got these seeds that I saved, I'm going to plant them in. They might be porch gourds, and that's great. Well, just a little bit about cross-pollination that we can talk about today. There's always more to learn in the garden. Bye-bye. <laughs>